I don't know why I signed up for my first 10-day Vipassana silent meditation without any previous meditation experience. I showed up a day early. <laughs> I guess I was really ready. And um, I didn't have a cushion to sit on. I didn't have any comfortable sweatpants or yoga pants or anything to sit for hours upon hours upon hours without moving kind of thing. And there's a, there's a part of me that's a glutton for punishment. I grew up in Minnesota. We had a square mile to play in. So we spent a lot of time outside in the pastures, in the fields. That outdoor time was critical to how we learned to play as a kid, problem solve, especially when there's six kids and then the neighbor kids. A lot of interaction for developing social skills. And although I had a tremendous respect for the outdoors, I became a critical observer. So developing stories about the life cycle of a tree frog and the challenge that was there in putting the boundaries around what that story contained because it became so evident to me that interconnectivity is it's how nature balances itself. I had returned from Central America and was working in corporate America and although the exact nature of the work that I was doing was interesting to me, and I think important to this world. It didn't feed my soul. I learned about a program that explored the role of business in making a better world. So it kind of took some of our assumptions about the single bottom line and said the path forward our next evolution, business can be structured to give back to this planet, to give back to our economy, to give back to the people that it serves. My undergraduate was in business and that resonated with me. For me, the responsible stewardship of the gifts that we've been given on this incredible rich planet are not to be exploited, as so often happens, but it's to be cherished and nurtured. Just respecting that means I need to be a more responsible human being. And as individuals, we're given the opportunity to make a choice. By not being more intentional and being more informed about the decisions that we're making, we're putting off our bad decisions so that our grandkids or our great-grandkids are the ones who are going to have to clean up after us. When we turn away from that, we're turning our back on our ability to evolve as a human species.